hey, uh, General Scar here. I'm going to show you how to make a store with variables. Um, okay, so then you have your store brick. Okay. So what you want to do is this is a bit complicated, so this might be in one or two parts. Uh go to go like this. Make sure you hit copy here so you don't have to keep doing this every time on every crystal or whatever, gold piece, whatever. On activate self and then let's just fake kill brick for about five seconds. On activate player, add variable crystal five. Now remember how you spelled crystal. On act on activate client display variable player chat message crystal. Okay. Go to the next one and just event send. This one, I'm going to set this so this one is only one. Okay. So then, on activate. Uh, clients bottom print bow costs 12 crystals see that's how I spelt it right yes so it shows it there so now events on activate self player uh let's see yeah self if variable player equals player chris stalls equals Greater equals or gr equals or t greater than twelve. The variable true. Player subtract. Add variable. Chris. Crystal. Negative twelve. And send that defense. Oops, I mean, let's make this AS as defense variable true name brick as spawn item bow. Just five, five. Variable false. Client bottom print need more Chris tolls. Chris tolls. Send. So, see, I need more crystals. Uh, so, let's give me some crystals. Crystals is one. Six. Seven. Ah. Uh. So you gotta make sure you get every single one. Gotta be careful too not to mess it up. <laughs> like I just did. Okay. Still is eight. Thirteen. So there. 
Oh, also, let's see. Events on variable true, client display variable, player, bottom print, crystal. Then there. Vent on activate client display variable player bottom prints. crystals <laughs> and now I have zero crystals I already have a bow so I will go away in a minute a couple seconds see okay so what happens when I get more than 12 crystals <laughs> So that's how you make a shop. It is yeah, pretty confusing, but you know that's what that's events variable events for sure. So and you can also do that for not shops, but for like scavenger hunts or something like you click on a remote. What I did one time, you click on a remote and then you had to find some batteries for it and then it said there's nothing good on TV. So you could do something like that. Um, yeah, once you understand the basics of variables, it gets a lot easier. Uh, it gets, like, really, really easy, because once I understood how to use them, I got them just like that, like, instantly. I don't know if that's just me, or if that, but, you know, it probably was, but they're pretty easy once you learn the basics, so, yeah. I'll be doing more ver um, more event guides, Blockland event guides, and I will be taking suggestions for Blockland event guides. So just um, ask me about it. Ask me about an event guide that I could do, uh, and I'll see if I can do it. Because I am pretty good at events at the moment, even though I haven't played in a while. I just have to remember them. Like variable events, I kind of forgot forgot them, but as I went, I remembered them. I got it right. So, um, yeah, I just want to see. I just want to help you guys with events. So I need. I'll be taking suggestions for events, for event guides and stuff. So, yeah. See ya later. <laughs>